U.S. futures are indicating a higher open, taking a bit of a cue from the European session. Over the weekend, G20 finance ministers vowed to clean up toxic financial assets. We're going to take you right now to our London bureau. Our own Lindsay Janice is standing by. Lindsay. Good morning, Deidre. Stock markets here are extending last week's big gains. The FTSE up about a percent after gaining 6% last week. The DAX up nearly 2% after gaining 8%. And the CAC, you can see, up more than 2% after a 7% gain last week. Now, traders say that G20 finance minister's stated priority of cleaning up bank balance sheets is very encouraging, though with the caveat that they are anxious for policymakers to back up that acknowledgement with some coordinated action. Also lifting sentiment today, Ben Bernanke's comments on 60 Minutes saying that the U.S. recession will probably end this year. But the big company story this morning is Barclays. The British bank says it had a strong start to the year, and it says it is continuing to perform well. You can see its shares up nearly 14 percent. Now, Barclays joins Deutsche Bank, Bank of America, J.P. Morgan, and Citigroup all talking positively about the start of the year. Now, Barclays is trying to work out how to boost its capital levels without handing over a stake to the British government. And also today, it's talking about selling its iShares business. Now, this is its exchange-traded funds unit of Barclays Global Investors. And there's talk that that could actually raise as much as $5.6 billion for Barclays. So we'll see. Now, it's all adding up to a nice rally in European banking stocks this morning. Uh, other industry groups chalking up some nice gains. Uh, real estate, insurers, technology. We've got every single industry group on the Dow Jones Stock 600 rising this morning, except for basic resources. Deirdre. Lindsay, thanks so much.